Hey guys, it's Scary Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, uh, this episode, we are going to go check out um, this Cleavor situation. I'm Leon of the Power Clan, the Warden to Cleavor, Lord of the Woods, and you. I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleavor. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am, I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power, but whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. Oh, such onus as I to meet mighty Cleavor. I have to admit I'm struck by your passion. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Rita that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can. Or face the wrath of my Goomy. Oh, he's got a Goomy! Oh, I've got, I've got flipping Ice Fang. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked, Goomy. <laughs> I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor right now. The only welcoming you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaped helping of his two favourite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden, that's me of course, is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give her any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor, Wordia, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it's said, it's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in vast Hisui today. As you say, Cleavor has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. We must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me. Could you galaxy people fix this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? We'll figure something out. Very well. Lean and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to give him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of vast Hisui. Or the Arc Phone. Mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Sweet. I've got to report what I've learned to Laventon. Good to see you, Smams. And how is your research into Cleavor going? Swimmingly, I expect. So is that so? That's quite the tidbit. So serving as favorite foods will normally make Cleavor quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull over this back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Heck yeah. Lots of money. Alright. We got a lot of points. Wow. Time to get my third star ranking. According to the information you were able to learn from Arita and Leon of the Power Clan, were this the normal course of events that the frenzied Cleavor would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favourite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleavor, but draw him back from his frenzy. By your own report, even Cleavor's warden, who looks after Cleavor and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It will be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Give me a moment if you would, I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help this. Do we really have to do this? This is necessary. 
or simply have to throw the food. You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Smems? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favourite foods and throw them at the Pokemon. Makes sense. So all coming together, we can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls and throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea if I do say so myself. As to what I call these yummy projectiles. What about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? We should get back to Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, I'll best set out from the Hides camp. Thank you. Thank you for the third star. Can I use great balls? So one apricorn, one iron chunk, and one tumblestone. So it's basically a pokeball but with an iron chunk. Which I've already got a few of. Sweet. So I'll go find the Geodo person and the Orenberry person, which I will do that. Alright, uh Geodude. Alright, oh, there you are, hello. What is this camera angle? Yes, have a Geodude. Sweet, enjoy, enjoy your Geodude. There's also a new one here. What do you want? Um, something wrong? Everything's fine, whatever you need, come back later. Alright, what's the matter? Maybe a survey core type like you could figure out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels like I'm not alone in there. This kind of crackling sound. I've found burnt berries a couple times and once in a while I hear something clatter. So survey core kid, go survey my quarters, figure out what's happening. Just do it at night with you, all right. Well, I can do that now. Yeah, sure, let's go. Close up and pull to one side, and short black hair. It's gonna be something in here. Faint smell, smells like berries have been present here. There's a noise from the entryway. Investigate again. All right, yep. Something from beneath the cloth, draw it back. What is it? Oh, it ran away. From the closets. Let's just run it. Oh, here. <gasps> it's a Pichu! It's a Pichu! I want the Pichu! I need the Pichu! Oh! This might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a little while back. A berry? For me? What, because I fixed you up? Wait, so the thing haunting my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu? Guess all that worrying was pointless. To think I was afraid it was some spine-chilling thing. He's so cute! Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. Yes, I have ten. So have the orange berries. Happy to help? Oh, yay! Some revives, nice. Oh, oh, what's my doing here? Hello. That galaxy hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The galaxy team's certainly got themselves a grand hand headquarters, I'll give them that. Oh yes, yeah, so I came because I had some news I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on though. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? All right, off we go to the Heights Camp with my, I guess. <laughs> I spoke to Word here about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field there and seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. In hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Word he has found you worthy, you see. Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, Mai? This is very important, so listen well.
That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Wordia so you can ride upon him. It said the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. You gave me a mind play! Oops. Oh, a Burmy! Just use a quick attack. Nice, alright. Come on, catch the burn me. Catch the burn me. I got the burn me. It's a Pichu walking around now. Heck yeah. Oh. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Bye, have a great time. Oh, the Pichu disappeared. What is this? Such was sent back to Norm. What? If you black out in the field, you may you lose some of your items. For players all over the world can find you a lot. Oh, what? If you find a satchel that someone else has lost, be sure to pick it up. The satchel you retrieved will be returned to its owner. You can retrieve merit points as a reward. I didn't know that was a thing. Alright, we're back here. Did you say that you galaxy people came up with a method to try and quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy? What, you'll mash up Cleaver's favourite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favourite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Arita. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy Team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stay in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught and your little Pokeballs, but on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Of course. Also, heck yeah, for Glaceon! That is not the Pokemon I want to bring out. I'm sorry. Of course, Kalava's hurt, so I'm not going to use, use Kalava. So, a bit of rollout it is. Oh, I didn't mean to put. I didn't. I didn't press L. Okay, sure. There we go. Easy win. Easy win. Oh, lots of level ups. Wow. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice. Not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Now, explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favourite foods together, boil them up and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So we've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make these balms with our very hearts and souls. There, a veritable mountain of balms. This should please Cleaver, if anything can. Now then, ready yourself, and I'll summon our mighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. 
Almighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favourite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and the earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Smams, keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Ooh, okay, here he comes. Oh! What is that, Pokemon? This is like some boss battle type of thing. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and call its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh wait, my Pokemon hasn't been healed yet. Oh, okay. Oh, roll out. Yuck. Ouch. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Alright, uh Oh, okay. Oh, it's a is it a fire type? Can I Can I catch it? Oh, okay, I can't catch it. I have to just win it. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. Some Pokemon. Bring Weasel back in. Weasel's good choice. Alright, let's uh let's strong style this upper deck. Two minutes. Oh no, that's not good. Alright, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to revive Weasel. Luckily, the barrel's got water pulse. So, not a huge fan of rollout. This is fun! This is definitely like some sort of boss fight type of thing. Uh, up. Alright. I will just quickly revive Weasel and super potion him up. Oh! This feels a lot like, um, like. Roxanne, in a way. Uh, yeah, weasel. Right, yeah, 
water blast is a better one. Water pulse, sorry, is a better one to do. Let's use that. Alright, good, 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 good. That's not good. Alright. Get out of the way! Get! Go! Go! I screwed that one up. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Nah, 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 get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, I think that worked. Hello, Cleve. Oh! And Quilava fainted, so I missed out on all the experience. I didn't revive Quilava. With insects play. Nice. Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleveland's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleveland's unnatural power? I'd say, I'd, I'd say yes. <laughs> well, this is what I think, after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleveland and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space-time rift and the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power, then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleavor to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Smam's accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Yes, fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these, on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. Citrus Berries! Heck yeah! Let me care for your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky, but I cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here. Though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. Who is fearfully strong after all. But yeah, I will end the episode off here. Um, so, that is a nice touch. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Bye!